All right, thanks for tuning in. What we're going to try to do is go through a little bit of a tutorial on how to create a Gmail account and then a G Plus account and then maybe even start a Hangout. I'm going to start here at Google and there's a link at the top of Google for Gmail or you can just go and type it right in. Gmail.com brings you to this logon screen for Gmail. If you have a Gmail account, you can go ahead and log on in. If you don't, you can create account up here using the create an account icon or button. I'll just go back again. Create an account. It's a red button up in the top right hand corner. Once you select that, you can choose information here to populate. And let's see, what can we put in here? Um, we'll put in here, let's say Charles. We'll just use that as uh, our first name here and um, Charles Walnut and let's see if we can do that Charles Walnut at gmail.com let's see if that works what I'm doing is my first name I'll say Charles last name say Walnut and then oh somebody already has that uh, name as a, a uh, email account Charles Walnut is already an existing account so we'll try it. Walnut Charles let's let's switch that around and Walnut Charles. Okay, create a password. I'm going to come up with a password. It's going to be secure. I'm going to try to make it secure, which a suggestion to you is if you're stuck on making passwords, a secure password would usually have at least eight characters, have at least one capital letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and sometimes even a special character like an asterisk, an at sign, or something like that. I'm just going to put my birth date as January 1st, 1900. Say that I'm male, mobile phone. Um, let's see. Current email address. We'll just come up with an existing email address, I guess. And then there's a captcha here. The captcha is a, a way that I guess to prove that you're not a robot by typing in what you see on the screen here sometimes you can't see it like I can't really quite see this so I'm gonna hit the little refresh button and it looks like C-H-U-M-P-O-L space W-I-C-H I agree to the policies and procedures and I'll hit next step Walnut Charles great so um, we'll just go to the next step and continue to the email account right there so now one of the things that I've noticed is that up in the top once you create an email account within um, Gmail up in the top left hand corner there's a little plus sign you can hit the plus sign and what that will do is allow you to create what's called a Google Plus page so if you've got your name listed in there, it seems like Google Plus wants you to put your name. So if you've entered your first and last name for your Gmail account, you can in turn, I guess, immediately have access to Google Plus. I'm going to hit continue. And oh, OK, what, what they're trying to do is they're trying to suggest that you add some people, add people that you want to follow, people that may be of interest. And uh, Google Plus is kind of like Twitter in that you can follow people and you can see their public posts, whatever they might happen to say or do or post publicly, you can watch that. And when I say it's like Twitter, um, if you're not familiar with Twitter, it, it reminds me of kind of a news feed. If you ever watch the news on television and there's a, a news feed that follows along the bottom, that's what Twitter is like. You can follow along. Uh, not necessarily along the bottom, but follow your Twitter feed or your Google Plus feed and follow popular public people. But I'm just going to hit continue. Yeah, I'll be lonely, but I'll continue anyway. So it's loading my po profile. Take a snapshot. I can do that, can I? Let's see. Uh, what does it do? Allow, maybe. Pow. Take a snapshot. Look at that. So says my profile. Maybe. And there I am. Where do I work? I don't know if I want to really do all that. We'll just hit finish. Okay. Now let's just say there's my Google account. Oh, okay. Continue Google Plus. Yeah, I want to continue. 
All right. So now this is my Google Plus page here. I've got my little profile picture. I can add all kinds of stuff in here, similar to Facebook or MySpace. But the key to what I'm looking at here is Hangout. Start a Hangout. So we have talked about this with a couple of people that we wanted to try to do some video conferencing. And so I wanted to just be able to kind of run through this pretty quickly to show you how it can be done. So since I don't have any people in my circle, I can't really add anyone. So I'll just click. Oh, and it also gives you the option to to broadcast your and record your Hangout. So I'm going to click enable. Oh, well, I have to have a verified YouTube account to make that happen. So uh, on my actual profile that I have, I can do that. But right now I'm just going to hit Hangout. And no one has been invited. So let's see, add names or circles. Let's see, public. So I can, yeah, so public, and then I can hang out. Waiting for people to enter this hangout. And maybe no one will enter it at all. But if we've, if we've gotten together ahead of time and we've been able to uh, publicize the fact that this is a hangout and we want people to come to this, then th the idea is that everyone would be in the same circle in that, um, just like Facebook or MySpace, you would have your own friends that would be in the the circle of trust that you could potentially invite to the hangout and so what am i doing oh there's all kinds of goofy stuff you can do huh you can put a crown hmm. i could put oh look i don't know if you can see that i just i put a little crown on my head and it follows me oh wait what else can i do not that i necessarily want to but i don't even know if you can see this that's funny Oh, oh, yeah, it puts a little Bozo the Clown on my head. Anyway, there's all kinds of little features and tricks that you can do with uh, Google Plus and with Hangouts. And, yeah, all kind of stuff that you can do with Hangouts and have fun with it so hopefully that's what we'll do we're looking to, to try to do that I'm gonna go ahead and exit this hangout but hopefully that's what we're, we're looking to be able to do here in the future is is create some hangouts at some different events and maybe some different folks could participate so thanks for watching hopefully that has given you a, enough information to allow you to create your own Gmail account and then Google Plus account and hang